Oh, to the camera. I'm sorry, I'm looking at you. I saw a movie called State of Grace with uh, Sean Penn and Gary Oldman. And it was a movie about the uh, Irish mob in Hell's Kitchen in New York City. And I just thought the movie was incredible. I thought Gary Oldman's performance was just unbelievable. And I was like, I want to be able to do that. My first audition for this James Baldwin play called The Amen Corner. It's the first time I ever experienced any type of emotion on stage or on camera. I remember it was uh, one time we, uh, it was close to the end of the run. And there's a scene at the end where I play this young character, David, who's this 18-year-old, you know, um, uh, piano player. And Phyllis Yvonne Stickney was playing my mother. And my father, played by Mansour Najila, was a jazz musician who basically was never around when I was a kid. Then he comes back, then he starts talking to me, and he's like, hey, why don't you come on the road and tour with me? And then it's like my mother, played by Phyllis Stickney, had tried to keep me away from that my whole life. And at the end, it was a coming-of-age film, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, play, and my whole thing was, was that I was going to leave home. And there was a scene at the end where we we're on stage and she was like, you really gonna leave? And I was like, yes. And I started crying and it freaked me out. <laughs> I got a guest starring role on New York Undercover after I had done the play with uh, Phyllis Stickney. And I'm on the set and when, back, in, back, in, back in those days I had I had that really weird view of what it is to be an actor. I had that view that if you're going to be an actor, then you always have to be intense and you always have to, you know, and you always have to be struggling and fighting and going through all these great emotions and you know what I mean? Everything was about, you know, the creativity and just being very tough on it and being very, you know, focused and intense. And I remember during the scene, I'm sitting there and we're inside the uh, squad room and I'm acting with uh, Malik Yoba and Michael DiLorenzo and my head was down and Malik Yoba is putting toothpicks in my afro while my head was down. And then I put my head up and then we're about to do the scene and then we're doing the scene. And then we're doing the scene and then everyone is laughing at me. And I'm like, what is everyone laughing at? And then it's like Malik Yoba and Michael DiLorenzo start cracking up because they're like, <laughs> we put toothpicks in your hair, so. That was, that was my most embarrassing moment on a set. And, well, not my most embarrassing moment, but that was my first experience on a set. My most embarrassing moment on a set um, was yesterday. I was uh, shooting a scene where I was doing a lot of uh, driving stuff. I kind of got a little bit overwhelmed because there was a lot of action that was going on and it's very difficult because you have a um, you have a two camera rig on the car you got a camera on the passenger side window and it's like two feet outside the window and then you got a camera rig right on the hood right in your way and uh, you know what I mean we're driving around and it's like they partially locked up the street so it's actual traffic and I'm trying to do the scene and do that and uh, it was one of the it was probably the first time on the set over the past five years that I felt like the weakest link, link. And it was just, for me, it was embarrassing because I'm a perfectionist. In between scenes, a lot of the actors are like, you know, they go and chill and do their thing, make a phone call or do what they have to do. And I'm always I'm like, hey, can we run it again? Can we run it again? They're like, yes, Corey, we'll run it again. And then I'm like, can we run it again after that? So. That's what I like to do in between scenes, or takes. I have to say Family Ties. I really enjoyed Family Ties. My family, we really love that show. I'm so into what I'm doing. It requires a lot for me, so when I'm not shooting, I like to do as little as possible. I'd probably have to say Africa, because I've never been, and I want to go.